I think there's one more question here. Uh, I'd like to get your uh, your thoughts on how indices are composed, whether or not they be market cap based, uh, fundamentally based, you know, equal weighting, anything like that. Just uh, you know, what do you think of those? In general, uh, I believe in uh, uh, market capitalization weighting because, uh, and this actually gets to one of the other questions that's on the screen that you didn't read. When you think of it, let's say you disagreed with me and you thought that markets were really quite inefficient. You still ought to be an indexer because investing has got to be a zero-sum game. Minus the cost of playing the game. Well, yeah. It's, uh, and and if, if there's somebody who's got all the stocks that went up more than average, somebody else has got to be holding the ones that went down. But in fact, it's a negative sum game because of the costs uh, involved. So the first thing to remember is once you stray from all the stocks in the market which are weighted by their market capitalization, that is what the market is, uh, you are making a bet, and you maybe you would be right, but uh, then somebody else has got to be uh, wrong. Now, what all of the other things do, whether it's equal weighting, whether it's fundamental uh, indexing, whether it's uh, value uh, investing, is you put certain tilts into your uh, portfolio. Uh, fundamental indexing has been very popular. There you wait by the company's earnings or its sales or its book value. And what that does is it puts two tilts into your portfolio. It makes your portfolio slightly more small cap than large cap. And it makes your portfolio slightly more, quote, value, if we define value as having uh, lower price uh, uh, earnings and lower price to book value. There have been lots of periods where those tilts have worked. Uh, and uh, there's a big dispute in the academy. Uh, is it because markets are inefficient or is it because of risk? Uh, I think the people who favor these sorts of things better think it's risk because if it's an inefficiency, somebody's going to arbitrage it away in the future. But let's say you believe in that and that that's what you want. I don't. I, I want to be a uh, cap, market capitalization uh, uh, indexer. But let's say you think that uh, this is something that has worked in certain past periods. There's no question about it. And you think it's going to work in the future. If you want that, don't buy the fundamental index. Buy a Vanguard value index at a very, very low fee. Realize what tilts are in those kinds of portfolios. Or buy small cap, which is, in fact, what we've got some uh, weighting of small cap uh, uh, in our overall portfolios. And buy it at a low fee. Don't buy these things that are advertised like fundamentally index-weighted portfolios because they've got a much higher fee, and it's great for the purveyor of the invest investment product and uh, not so good for you. And, and look, I think all of us who talk about the stock market need to be very modest about what we know and don't know about the stock market. But the only thing I'll tell you that I am 100% sure of and that is that the lower the fee I pay to the purveyor of the investment product, the more there's going to be for me. Um, I see we have a couple more questions up here. Um, I think the next leading question is, uh, um, I think it's for you, Bart. I think it's you are affiliated with. Oh, no, Charlie is as well. Charlie can take that. But uh, right, Rebalance so uh, we have, IRA and Wealthfront. Yeah, we have front. two firms, Rebalance IRA and yeah. Wealthfront. Just Both to, of us are on that advisory yeah. board, too. Both, uh, if you want to compare or, or talk about it. I just think in both cases, there's an effort to bring cost structures that are high to go past them with a different cost structure that is low and trying to deliver access to value. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we were at Vanguard. That's why we're doing this. It, yeah. 